Good morning, boys and girls. Today is March 25th, and I'm actually going to be going through um, work for the week and for next week. So I'm going to try to condense it. Um, first, we're going to start with Bible. Our Bible verse for the next two weeks that we need to learn is Revelation 3.20. And this is how it goes. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. Revelation 3.20. And I could send that out to you later. This will be our next spelling list list 28 our words for list 28 we're, we're going over the special sound ch in church and ch in patch tch so the words are church choose chin chest bench which such much rich and here we go we have our ch in patch tch patch ditch Stitch, match, our sight words, Mr. and Mrs. Okay, that's for list 28. Here's list 29. List 29, we're going to be going over the special sounds. Eind in kind, eild in child, old in gold, and m in them. So our words here are old, for the old in gold. We have old, cold, Fold, gold. Now we have the Isled and child. Child, mild, wild, blind. And then we're going to move on to Eind in kind. Find, kind, mind. And now we have the M in lamb. Comb, oh, and we have climb. So we jumped back to another one. Okay, climb. Father, and some are our sight words. Now, when you're going over your spelling words for the week, make sure that you say spell say out loud like you would in class. Get your list and say spell say to your to someone. If you know if your parents busy, say it to a nice little stuffy. Um, and for the spelling words, you'll be writing them one time on one paper. You'll be writing them two times for the week. And the, the paper I'll be giving you, you write it one on one side and one on the other side. So um, you use that one paper. So you only have to write them two times for the whole week. So we're going to move on to phonics. And in phonics, we've been on chart 13. Chart 13, we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and, and say it with you and you can say it with me. I have full and beautiful, F-U-L, air and care, A-R-E. Tun in mountain, T A I N. Your in pure, U R E. Chur in pasture, T U R E. War in warm, W A R. Shun in nation, T I O N. Shun in missionary, S I O N. Jeanne in television, S I O N. A in eight, E I G H. Er in sailor, O R. Er in dollar, A R. If in crystal, Y. And air in cherry, E R R. So the special sounds that we left off on air and care. So now we're going to move on to ton and mountain, T-A-I-N, and we're going to look at some of those words. Other words like mountain, we have curtain, certain, captain, okay, we're going to move on to our next special sound. We have you're in pure, U-R-E, some of the words other words with you're in pure are secure, impure, cure, okay. And then we have cheer and pasture. Try to try to read them before I say them. Future. 
scripture, picture. All right, good job. This is war and warm. Let's look at some of those words. I have warning, wardrobe, award, warrior. Okay. And I have one more. Oh, I have two more. Shun in nation. All right, let's see if you can say these. Motion, station, caution, okay. Shun in missionary. Permission, expression. And we're back to the beginning, okay. So those are our special sounds that we we will be we will be learning this week and next week. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to math. So for math, we've been trying to count out loud. We we the last time we did, we needed to count one hundred nine hundred and fifty to one thousand. So you can count out loud to your parents or anyone around. Um, count out loud nine. 950 to 1,000, and we, we don't have a chart to see it, but you can count out loud. Um, we, this week, this last week, um, we learned the 12 edition family, which I didn't get to do with you, but you did at home, and we are going to be moving on to the 12 subtraction family. So you have your uh, family chart, so you can look at those, practice those, make you some flashcards, so you can practice and get fast, because we are still doing speed drills. Um, we do have some, oh, before I move on to some new concepts, I want to go over these. You can do these with me. Say them out loud. Um, so let's see. Let's see if Sophia knows this one. One hour equals how many minutes? 60, correct. How about Juju? One minute equals how many seconds? Good job, 60 seconds. One day equals how many hours, Zayden? Yes, 24 hours, you're right. One dozen equals how many things, Vera? Good, perfect, 12. One week equals how many days, Maddie? Yes, seven, good job. One year equals how many months, Whitley? Awesome. Okay, let's. We're gonna go to our measurements. See if you remember these. Kaden, one pint equals how many cups? Two cups. Good job. One gallon equals how many quarts? I know Tuvia is still learning these, so we'll help him out. Four. Good job. Okay. How about one quart equals how many pints? Sophia, two, good job. One yard equals how many feet? Zayden, three, good job. One foot equals how many inches, Maddie? 12, awesome, y'all are so good at this. One yard equals how many inches? Vera, I know this was your favorite, awesome. Okay, do y'all remember this one? One pound equals how many ounces? I'm glad you know it, 16. All right, let's look at our fractions. What fraction is this? That's right, one fourth. How about this one? One third, you're right. And we have one half. Okay, ooh. Two bonus ones right here. One year equals how many days? We talked about this. 365, awesome. And one year, how many, uh, one leap year, how many days is that? 366, good, good job. All right, okay, so we did a little bit of review. We're gonna move on to 
something we're learning new these next two weeks. We're learning how to carry to the tens column. All right, so remember, whenever we add these two digit numbers, I always tell you to do what first? Always start on the correct, the ones place. So, I mean, you don't need these little dashes in the between, but that helps you to, to remember, this is the ones place, this is the tens place. You're gonna start on the ones place first. Seven plus five equals what? 12. Oh my goodness, where am I gonna put that 12? Can I put that 12 here? I cannot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ones place, I'm gonna put my two here, this number that's in the tens place, I'm going to carry it to the tens place. So I carried it to my tens place. Now I have to add these three numbers together. One plus four plus two equals. Now, you know what the easiest way to do it? I can get these two numbers together first. And I can do four plus two equals six plus one more. That equals seven. Now, a lot of you make the mistakes where you forget about this number and you just add these. So if you're putting six right here, then it's gonna be wrong. So don't forget, you're gonna to add all three numbers here. This is our carrying to the tens column. That's one of our newest things we're learning. Now, going over the missing number, we've learned it before, but I wanna do a, do a quick review. Um, for our missing number, even though we have two digits, two digits to worry about, we're going to remember that it is very easy because we're just going to say, let's worry about our ones column first and then we can worry about our tens column. So let's think about two plus something equals eight. And so try to think about that a little bit. Two plus something equals eight. And if you still don't know and you need help, you can think about the opposite. You can do the opposite of plus. You could say eight take away two equals what? It equals six. So if I put my six right here, that's the same thing. It's two plus six equals eight. Okay, now let's move to our tens column. Now we're gonna say two plus something equals five. Who remembers that? Yes, it is three. That one's not too hard, right? But if you didn't remember, you could do the same thing. You could say five, take away two equals three. And there you go, you can plug that in. So that's how you find the missing number. Don't let it scare you. Just make sure you think about your ones place first and then you can do your tens place and then it's all simple. So for our, we're gonna move on to creative writing. Creative writing, I had you write a how to and then I am having you write a letter to a friend. Um, the next thing we're going to be doing in creative writing, you're going to be writing a story about a kite. And if you have a kite at home, go out and fly a kite too. And then you can write your story. That would be so cool. Um, and when you're writing this story, what you're going to do is you're going to write it on a paper that I provided first. And then if you make any mistakes, if you forgot your period, you didn't capitalize, you probably spelled some letters wrong, your parents will proofread it. They will make the corrections for you or help you make them. And then you're gonna rewrite that story on the special paper that it's stapled to that has the picture of the kite. And I want you to have your best writing on there and make sure you have all your corrections fixed like your periods and capitalizations. Um, and then that's only for one week. You only have to write one story for the whole week. You're gonna move on to the next week will be, you're gonna be writing about a puppy and same thing, you're gonna rewrite it on your paper, make corrections, rewrite it again. I know you don't like rewriting, but this is how we write stories. Even book, even the storybooks that we read in, in the library, they have been written, they've been rewritten to make fix all the mistakes. So we're gonna be practicing that too. All right, so for our reading, when we're doing our reading groups, um, we won't get to do reading groups, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna continue reading from your book wherever you left off because everybody's kind of in different stories but you're going to continue wherever you were read the story answer the questions write in the book please and if you need to read that story more than once write it, read it again so that you can answer the questions and they're correct i want those those questions answered correctly um 
And then when you finish that book, I think I provided the second book. If I didn't, I'll be sending that one. I'll be sending the second book next so that you can move on. Um, for our social studies, we're, gonna, we're still on My America, My World. I want you to continue reading My America, My World. You could do one or two places. It's up to you. And um, you know where we left off. I can't remember right now, but I'm sure you'll remember. And once you finish that, you don't have to do anything else. You can do science right after that. And um, in our science book, the last thing we did was we learned about our ears. So we wanna continue after learning about our ears. So just read it and do you know anything it has for you to do. Have some fun stuff. And if you have any questions, um, you can reach me on Google Duel and I'll try to be, I'll be in contact if you, you know, if you got stuck on something, I can, I can go over it with you. Um, and that is all for today. Thank you. Have a wonderful week.